All right, folks. A little bit late tonight. I do apologise. Uh, for people who are watching this after it's been uploaded, then that doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, on the penultimate stream of Birthday Beer Week, and uh, we're looking at the only bottle from this week. And uh, yeah, no one's joined as of yet. Well, people have got much better things to do on a Saturday evening, so it's all good. All right, then. So, hope uh, everyone who does watch this has had a, a good week so far. Um, it's Saturday today, isn't it? Yeah, it's Saturday today. Um, days just sort of blend into to one, don't they? Uh, we've got one viewer. Fantastic. That's enough for me to get this stream started. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get many more people joining. So, today, uh, for our beer birthday week, we're having a look at the Coco Benga. Or Coco Binga. It's got the umlaut, so it's uh, AE, isn't it? And this is Imperial Stout with coconut and coffee. A banging Imperial Stout brewed with coconut and Katura coffee from Costa Rica. Clocking in at 12.5% ABV. Uh, I've already had a beer today. I had the Finback Yuzu Mandarin. I can't remember what it's called, but it was basically a double IPA with Yuzu and Mandarina. Mandarin. Get it right. Um, added to it. And it was really damn good. So, yeah, the only bottled uh, beer in this selection that we have for birthday beer week. So, let's get this opened and see what we get. I'm a big fan of Puyala. Out of Estonia. I'm going to use a, a lighter to get that open because I don't know where I've put me bottle openers. So I'm going to use my uh, Time and Tide glass for this one. So yeah, I'm a big, big fan of Hoyana. I know that's not how you pronounce it, so I do apologise. And especially their dark beers are just second to none. So I'll tell you what, we'll just pour it all in. And look at that head, just pretty much dissipated straight away. Uh, jet black, oily, slick. It's got a nice sheen on the top. It's got a nice sort of viscosity to it. No head at all. Oh, it smells interesting. Don't forget cocoa powder. There's a little bit of coffee in there. I'd say more like um like a coffee liqueur more than anything else. Licorice, a slight smokiness emanating from the glass as well. I think Harry might be live now, so obviously people are gonna choose his channel over mine. Let's be honest. It's got a little bit of a, a leathery, slight tar aroma coming through. Licorice, like black currant licorice. Smells good. Smells like it smells like an old man. A little bit of coffee coming through. Definitely that sort of like earthy coffee bean aroma. I don't even know if I've got this stream on public. Who, who cares? Nobody cares. <sighs> Smells good, though. So, without any further ado, let's give this a taste. Cheers, if anybody's out there. Wow. 
I was not expecting that. It's all about bitter chocolate. Like slightly overly roasted coffee beans, almost. Yeah, it's got a got quite a a salinity to it as well, without it being salty. Well, twelve percent ABV beer. It's actually remarkably thin. Um, it almost gives you the impression like it's been aged in a barrel, and the the ABV and body, well, the body has suffered. I mean, it's sticky as hell, though. And it's definitely got that, like, slight oil slick sort of flavour and feel. It does coat the tongue nicely, though. Mm. Yeah, there's a real, real prominent salinity to it. Like, sort of plain licorice, or maybe a slightly salted licorice. Coffee is... It, it's kind of there. It's not a dominant presence by any stretch. It's got that slight um, umami sort of character as well. I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily say that this has got coconut or coffee in it. Um, the only way I'm picking up coconut is because I'm really trying to find coconut. So it's got a subtle coconut flavour. But no, it's like you've got an imperial stout and you've melted down some licorice. I mean, I'm tasting it now. It's to me, it's not a coffee, coconut imperial stout. It's just a really nice, quite bold, old school imperial stout. You are picking up the alcohol. Um, it does warm that your sort of your esophagus as it goes down. Yeah, it's it's not bad. It's interesting. I'm not going to lie, I'm not really feeling this live stream tonight. Um, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's just like... Am I going to have like one of those... Have you ever seen a film network where they have that sort of like big rant? Where he has a big rant and rave? Am I going to lose my mind? As you can see, I've already pulled the mirrors down because they take to another dimension. It's a lethal light to that. Yeah, I'm just rarely not in the mood, <laughs> for being honest. Um, I do think that this week has sort of it tapered off quite quickly. Um, I'm just not really that interested, am I? to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm really liking this bit, but I'm not feeling it at the same time. Um, it's a damn sight better than um, Full Fathom 5. That was just, uh, just a bad, bad beer. Um, or that specific can was. This is, to me, it's like classic Payala. Up <clears throat> your how I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but um, probably one of the the dominant um, Estonian breweries uh, from the craft side of things, uh, and Estonia is a country that I really need to sort of explore more when it comes to beers. 
Uh, but I've got I've got big love for this brewery, and uh, again, they're one of those ones that I just don't try um, often enough. But yeah, apologies. It's just I'm I'm really really not feeling this live stream tonight. Um, I don't know what the fuck is up with me. I think it's because I was late getting to it. Um, so I think that's why if anybody was interested in watching, and I've got a comment from Adam, then, you know, they've been waiting for like 20 odd minutes. So what the fuck's the point? Anyway, let's, I'll have to reach, oh, fuck off YouTube. Uh, let's go your channel. I'll have to. No. Oh my fucking God. The app on who are we phones is just absolutely rotten. I just wanted to get into the comments. Uh, evening. I liked Winter Banger. Want to try Forest Banger and Coco Banger. More bangers, the better. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a good, it's a lovely, lovely beer, Adam. Um, but I'm just not getting any coconut or coffee. And the, the sort of characters that I'm getting that, that are similar are really quite my, minute. Um, it could be down to the age of the bottle. Maybe those flavours have faded. Um, I don't know where the date is. So I couldn't tell you how old this bottle is, really. 12.5% uh, though, you feel it, you feel it, but it's not like a, a, a big offensive sort of beer. But um, yeah, it's not bad. Warms you up on a, a, a blustery evening like tonight at least. Um, yeah, uh, I've, just, I've just hit a brick wall, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, all I'm going to say is, thank God I've only got one more uh, review to do this week. Because uh, it has been a bit heavy <laughs> reviewing a dark beer each night. I've enjoyed them. I'm just being, uh, what's the word, a miserable bastard tonight. Apparently the BO versions, wax top mudder fudges aren't as good. Yeah, I find that a lot of times barrel aging a beer um can can actually be a detriment to the beer itself. There have been plenty of times where I've had a barrel aged version of a beer that I've already had and I've just not enjoyed the BA version at all. Not British Airways, the barrel aged version. And I do tend to find a lot of barrel aged beers become quite thinned down um because of I'd, I'd imagine because like remnants of whatever was in the cask or barrel beforehand. But um, yeah, this is good. Brian Roster. Hi, Brian. I think my palate would fatigue if I was viewing dark beers every night for a week. Yeah, I think it's just uh, sort of catching up to me. Uh, do you know what I mean? Um, I'm, I mind you, I had a bit of a break from dark beers last night and had a few hoppy ones, including Troubles, which is what an IPA that was. But, um, yeah. I just want to apologise for this stream. It's, I'm really not at my best at all tonight. Not that, you know, I've got a best. But, um, yeah. Well, thankfully, Harry's on. So, if you want something better to watch, then just go over to uh, Blue No Spear Reviews. Anyway, now, I'm going to stop being mad. I'm going to stop being stroppy. And I'm going to finish this beer. Not on stream, because I don't want to keep you guys any longer than necessary. I agree, just finished off Blood Machines by Rinton. A big boy from Arbor next, then breakfast in bed. Oh, very nice. Um, what have I got in the fridge for tonight? Uh, I've got Cloudwater's birthday double IPA um, in the fridge. Uh, I've got one of the Black Lodge 
beers. I can't remember which one. It's the IPA that's got Sabro in it. Um, I might have the Sabro like triple black IPA from Cloud Worlds tonight because you don't really need to chill down a black IPA. Um, although I might nip to the shop and just buy like a four pack of lager because, um, yeah, I went a bit. See, that's the thing. Last night, I didn't really drink that much, but I felt like I just became an absolute knobhead on that stream last night and then just went dead quiet for no reason. And then next thing, I just disappear, go for a seat, but then wake up in me, in me bed with like me, me jacket on and stuff. I don't know what the fuck happened last night. It was a good stream now. It was good to catch up with... Uh, some of the Canadian guys, and it was good to see Stu. 9% pint can. Oh, get it. Get in there, dear lads. But, uh, yeah, I think I'd, um, Harry's live now, so um, luckily he can save you all uh, from this tedium that is my stream tonight. Um, anyway, God, I do self-love a bit too much. It gets, it gets a bit boring, doesn't it? Really. Anyway, so... We've got one more beer to review. Let me just uh, move my works laptop. So I've got my box of uh, beers for this week. I've just got shit everywhere. Um, and it's not true what they say about geniuses and dirty work spaces. I'm just a lazy bastard at the end of the day. So, I'm not going to pick a number tonight. I'm just going to put the beers on display and I'll let someone pick what beer we'll do. We've got four to choose, well, five to choose from. So, we've got the uh, Persistence is Utile, Bitter Chocolate Edition number two, uh, the Coffee and Bitter Chocolate, a decadent dessert beer. Combined, combining two classic flavours. That yeah, I've not read that properly, uh, but I'm a little bit concerned about this can because it's sort of like a oozing out. But then again, it's still got quite a firm feel to it. Sunday fun day, all of them. Oh, can you fucking? Imagine? Can you imagine fucking? Hell, I nearly, I nearly smashed the glass, and I've got stout everywhere. Fucking hell. Uh, so we've got that beer. We've got the uh, motor, motor Rolly coffee from Dumoulin's Little. Uh, we've got Midnight Harvest from Don Zoko. Ow. We've got uh, Mohana Breakfast Stout from Neptune. Or we've got the sort of curveball um, alcoholic beverage. Uh, love you, Peter. Just let it soak in. Yeah, just leave it. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, no, it's actually splashed on because you're resting on a like a fabric chest. Uh, that I put me t-shirts and sweatshirts in and it's spilt on there so that's going to stain and then the sort of curveball which I'm actually thinking of doing this the City Boys from Toulon which is 64% uh, of the alcohol beverage is per cider 20% is coffee kombucha and the remaining 16% is a stout and uh, this is brewed by, uh, well, it's collaboration between Tuol, Lesk, and Abelrov. And I've got a feeling I'm going to fucking hate this. So, no, I do. I'm not doing all of them. You can't make me. I feel like I, I want to ask... The, guy, uh, the folks who are watching right now what I should do, but I kind of want to make an executive decision and just say, I want to review this tomorrow. 
it's just nothing that I would ever buy because it's pretty much like purse cider kombucha and stout mixed in one. Uh, but then again, I might have the liquid shits on Monday when I'm back to work. If I, but no, yeah, whoever picks one of those beers, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Fuck it. It's in your hands. But if you say all of them, I'm going to block you from chat. I'm going to kick you out. I'm not going to do that. But uh, yeah, anybody wants to uh, suggest one of those beers, we're doing it tomorrow to finish this uh, this week off. Uh, like all except the kombucha. Do you know what I'm going to take that as I'm going to do this tomorrow? This is going to be... We're probably going to end this week on such a disappointing um, alcoholic beverage. But that being said, if it's really bad, then it could make for entertaining viewing. So tomorrow we're going to be looking at City Boys, a very mixed fermentation. So, Abelov, it has, oh, it's not just apple per cider, si aged, it's not just per cider, it's bourbon barrel aged per cider. Ugh. Then, uh, Lesk and uh, Coffee Collective provides the coffee kombucha. I've never had kombucha. Never had kombucha. And then, Two Old provides a bourbon barrel aged stout. So, it's got to be loads of bourbon in there as well. Why is this a thing? Just like, the idea of it, I'm like, why does that exist? But uh, we'll find out tomorrow because that's what we're going to be reviewing. And I don't care what anyone says. Anyway, so I've got to mop up this floor now um, because... <sighs> it symbolises... I'm going to be in a foul mood all night, aren't I? I, I could just tell I'm going to be in a proper foul mood. But hey ho, it is what it is, and I'm sure I'll get angry drunk later and make her make her feel myself and make a very regretful mistake. We'll see. Anyway, so yeah, if you've tried this or any other um, bangers from Poyala, then let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Uh, Matt Bink says that sounds awful. Yes, I think yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Um, it's probably gonna be absolute rank wank um it's just the pears Ugh. and i kind of like bourbon sometimes but hey ho or i could just really enjoy it and then that'll be the ultimate anticlimax. anyway so i uh, had a bit of a meltdown during the stream not gonna lie uh, a little bit of a whinge a little bit of a moan but uh, I do genuinely appreciate uh, each of you guys who have commented on this one. Uh, I know I was a little bit late on it. Um, I was late on the one yesterday as well. How can you be late when you've got nothing to do? Riddle me that, Batman. Um, I don't think that's, a, that's not a line from Batman, is it? Riddle me that, Batman? I don't know. What the fuck am I talking about? I sound, I sound like Jimmy O'Neill. Right now, when he has his little episodes during the stream. But I love him to bits. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, you'll probably see me a little bit later on on uh, Harry Meadows' Blue, no Blue Nose Beer Reviews. Uh, I think everyone else who I uh, associate with are uh, probably watching that stream anyway. Because who wants to watch this shit? Um, but no, I do genuinely appreciate you guys stopping by and commenting and uh, interacting and thank you for for everyone who's joined throughout the week um i know i'm hiding my face behind a can look how diddy it is it's like one of those little uh, sample coke cans that you get when you're in the trafford center um but yeah anyway so thanks for watching um i'll try and remember to update the links down below uh, it's just the zero effort and then there's clueless drinker zero effort so uh yeah anyway i'm sure tomorrow's stream will be a lot better than today's I do apologize not feeling it today but i'm committed i'm committed to bring you wonderful content uh whether it works or goes against me anyway 
Cheers for watching. You all take care. Oh, he's, someone's gone to the bathroom, so I can't use the floor wipes. Fuck! I mean, it's not much on the floor, uh, but I do need a cigarette. So we'll do that first. Anyway, why am I telling you all this? Why are you still here? Why did you come here in the first place? Nah, just joking. You all take care. Have a lovely weekend. And I'll see, hopefully, should see you all tomorrow. Cheers.